Hey friends, a not so obvious thing about Framer is how to have a logo that is white in dark mode and black in light mode. This isn't really documented very well and rather than just trying to explain it to you, I'm going to show you how we can achieve this with the default Framer navigation and logo. So let's get into it. If we just add a simple navigation bar up here, what we will see if we go into, if we swap between light and dark mode, nothing will change, right? That's not what we want. We want to have a light mode, we want to have a dark mode. So the way to achieve this, if you go to assets, what you can do now in later versions of Framer is in styles, you can add a color style. And this will give you an option for light and dark mode. So let's create one for the navigation background first, and we'll call it simply background. In light mode, we want the background to be white. In dark mode, we want it to be black. Very simple. So we'll create that, and that now exists. But you'll see nothing has changed. We need to assign it to the actual navigation. So in here, we can click background, and then if we go between the two, it will swap, light and dark. But you see the main problem here is the logo in dark mode is just essentially deleted. You can't see it. So we can apply the exact same logic to the logo if it's an SVG and the same thing will happen. So let's go back to our assets, to colors, color style. And now let's add one for logo. In light mode, we want it to be black. In dark mode, we want it to be white. And again, let's select the entire logo. Bear in mind, the default Framer logo is like multiple pieces. So let's just ensure that we select the whole logo. And then we'll go to logo here. And now what you will have is a nice light and dark mode for your logo. Nice and quick, but to recap, make sure that your logo is an SVG. Make sure that you create a color style and you assign the correct color for light and dark mode. And then you will assign that color style to the component. Hope that helps.